We are here. What are we gonna do today, Austin? We're gonna go fishing with some water dogs out of Lake Fayette. With some lizards? I don't know how I feel about it yet, but I'm feeling good to be Tyler's first shot. Look at those water dogs right there, baby. They're about to bring out our lizards. How are we gonna feel about fishing with lizards? Hook them through the bottom lip. Y'all, I'm just gonna let you know these things are engineered for fishing, okay? We're not just catching lizards off the street and we're gonna fish. Oh, this is what we're gonna be fishing with today is uh, these slimy prehistoric creatures. Holy cow. Look like eels with a bunch of teeth. Oh, that's weird. All right, ready to go. Let's do it. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not been a cold winter at all. What am I saying? It's been a hot winter, and uh, first kind of cold front we've had, and we're fishing is tough, so you know what I'm doing? I'm gonna use live bait. Today, we are on a lake called Fayette County Lake, and uh, come get on closer in here. We're gonna use a bait called a water dog. So the way this, this bait works, it's, it's basically a lizard, if, if, you're, if you're curious here. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, this, is, oh, this is creepy. Oh. <laughs> it's weird to hold. As you can see, it's a nice looking uh, green salamander type bait. This is uh, completely legal, completely uh, approved by the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. And man, these things are creepy. But you know what? They're going to catch us some monster bass today. Oh. There we go. First bass on the lizard. Nice two, two and a half. I was hoping for you know a bigger fish for my first water dog fish, but they work, and that's all that matters. Ooh, water dog, water dog, babe. Yeah, buddy. Come here, big boy. Come here, on the water dog. Oh, oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a good one. There's a three pounder. Let's see what this lizard can do. I felt him swimming away, and I gave him a little bit of time to, uh, to get the lizard in his mouth. And he chomped it. Yeah. Here we go. First nice fish on the water dog, right on the outside of the mouth if you want them. There we go. Whew. I tell you, fishing in Texas has been really rough lately because as you can see, it's like 80 degrees out here. But if you slow down, and I know as bass fishermen, you know, we hate to do this, but sometimes you just gotta have a little fun and fish with live bait. And today, the live bait happened to be a water Way dog. There we go. Oh, oh my goodness, holy cow. Once again, on the water dog. Oh, I got him, I got the water dog back. <laughs> he just threw off the bait with the fish on, laid it in the water while, the, while he's fighting the fish, reaches down and grabs the bait. Amazement. Woo! On the water dog, baby. It's been a fun day. I can tell you, we're coming back tomorrow to catch some nice fish like this on slimy little Voldemort spawn lizards. Look at that. That's what the water dog looks like. It's an eel, basically, an eel lizard. Catch some nice fish. Whew. The next flip. Yeah. The next flip, he catches one. If y'all haven't fished with water dogs, you should, because there's some good fish to be caught. Yeah, dude. That's so awesome. Look at that. Two in a row. Good deal. 
to show us how you get a, a gut hooked fish out. Big long pair of pliers here. You take the hook, grab it by whatever the weight or the shank of the hook, pop it straight out. Instead of ripping it straight out from in the mouth, you end up taking the hook out and it hasn't hurt the fish whatsoever. She swims off just fine. Good stuff. That was my last water dog, but I am very satisfied with my purchase. They are $2.50 a piece for those little slimy, slimy boogers, but uh, but they're worth it. And you know guys, I know I'm probably gonna get some hate on this video for using live bait, but when you just wanna have fun out there on the water and have a great chance of catching fish like this one, man, water dogs and, and minnows and shiners, great ways to go. I'm not saying they're, they're bad baits at all. And uh, man, it's a lot of fun to catch fish of this caliber. Now what we're doing today is, as you guys can see, all these shallow trees here in about, you know, four to eight feet of water. These fish are suspended in them because it's pretty sunny outside and so they're going to get right up next to the trees and kind of suspend from the, the top to the bottom. And so I'm letting the water dogs kind of, you know, I'm... The thing about water dogs is they love to eat bass's eggs. Um, River to Sea makes a bait called the Nest Raider and it really imitates a water dog because these salamander type things love to eat bass's eggs. And so once it hits the water, it'll kind of slither down to the bottom. And what these fish are doing is they're sitting on the trees and they're kind of looking out and seeing the water dog swimming down. So they come out and, and nail it. But if you were to set the hook really hard, you'd, you'd pull it right out of their mouths. Same with a lot of other live baits. So you kind of got to give them a second, um, kind of feel if, if they're still there and then kind of just lay into them. So your hook set's not super, super strong. But man, it's a fun time, fun dude. Tomorrow we're coming back, catch some more. See you guys there. yesterday is we threw the water dogs and we only had a few of them up in the trees and it worked really really well because it was it was sunny and it was calm and so those fish when it's sunny they'll gravitate toward those trees and they'll, they'll get super tight to them and so we just pitched the water dog right to the trees and uh, caught lots of good fish today as you guys can see it is cloudy and windy and so these fish are gonna kind of spread out more as they do when it's cloudy and windy and they're gonna roam and so Austin started throwing a uh, fast moving chatterbait and he's just getting more fish than I am right now so I'm going to keep flipping around the water dog, but uh, always be aware of the weather because when it's sunny, you're probably going to be more close to cover when it's windy and, uh, and cloudy, they're going to they're going to spread out and feed. So make sure you're paying attention to the weather and it'll tell you what to throw. Get out of there. Oh my goodness. I got a bass on the water dog, folks. Oh, he's not too big, but he's not too small. Man, that's a football of a fish right there. Another solid three pounder. Oh, hook came out. There we go. You know what, y'all? It's cloudy. The water dog still works. You want to go out and kind of have a good time fishing? Just throw some live bait. I know it hurts your soul as a bass fisherman. Austin couldn't do it. He gave up after like five minutes. But I kept at it and I kept the fish. Oh my goodness gracious! Get over here, big boy! This is what dreams are made of! <laughs> yeah! I don't know why it's got so scared right there. Chill out, fish. Chill out! Holy cow! Holy cow! Got him! Yeah! Here we go, baby! Right! What is up guys? I hope you enjoyed that video. I know me and Austin had a, uh, Austin's back there. We had a lot of fun throwing, uh, throwing live bait. And sometimes, even though live bait is fun and it can work, I know, 99% of the time to catch fish, sometimes, as you saw with Austin and his chatterbait, you have to throw, um, you know, artificial lures because that's what the fish want. 
So the moral of the story today is just, uh, you know, fish, what the fish want, and really look at the conditions. Today we had cloudy skies, and so the fish were scattered around. They wanted the chatterbait more. Yesterday they were, you know, condensed and, and uh, really close to the trees, and they wanted the water dogs more. So don't be afraid to switch up your lures based on the conditions. Uh, hope you guys learned something, and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time. <laughs> that was so lame. <laughs> no, I was like talking about putting it on the boat, you dumb.